Hi folks, how are you all doing? Uh, right, okay, I've um, got another uh, package as opening reveal. I say packages because there's oops, three envelopes and a box. So I'm going to do them all on this one video rather than messing about doing several little ones. Uh, so let's get on with it. <clears throat> These are the first two. They are from Amazon, and uh, but just as a little bit of a backstory, I was going through some of my emails a few weeks ago, and excuse me, <coughs> and I found one uh, from Amazon, and uh, it was an invite to join Amazon Vine. Now I don't know if any of you guys watching this are Amazon Vine members as well, but basically what you do is you get stuff recommended to you it could be things that you'd have absolutely no use for it could be things that are useful to you or things that you might just like to have a go of you're under no obligation to accept any of them or all of them um if there's something that catches your eye you know you can you can give it a go and what amazon are doing are, are getting people to get stuff ordered to them that they don't pay for um, so that they can get a review about them and it, it's so that they can get honest reviews because they noticed that companies were sending things to people uh, so that they could get good reviews about them. So the reviews that people put on through Amazon Vine about the stuff that they've had sent, they, they're not doctored at all by Amazon and you say whether you whether you liked the stuff that you got whether you didn't like it how useful it was how much rubbish you thought it was whether or not you um recommend other people buy it that sort of thing so it is just a platform for for honest reviews whether they be good or bad and i've been doing it for a few weeks now i've had a fair bit of stuff ranging from um tubs of um, mineral supplements, vitamin supplements, to things like headbands. So these two came today. They are they are soft things, uh, and I know that I did put some uh, little soft things on the last order that I put through. So uh, let's get them open, and uh, I'll show you what's inside. haven't done any um, other Amazon Vine package openings because to be honest I didn't know how interested people will be in them uh, so if if you are interested and you'd like to see more when I get things through from Amazon Vine drop me a comment and uh, I'll do individual ones for Vine products so this is the first one and it's a a brightening pomegranate peel off mask so it's it's a packet of, of gel rather than um, a mask that is in similar construction to a baby wipe that you can just put on your face so this you put it onto your hands and rub it onto your face leave it dry for however long it says uh, and then you you pull it off it's got pomegranate oil and witch hazel in it and it says it helps skin feel toned and tightened uh, with our superfood pomegranate peel off mask designed to help gently remove dead skin cells to reveal a more glowing complexion. So uh, yeah, you clean your face with warm water, put the mask on with your fingertips, make sure your hair is out of the way, don't put it on your eyelashes and brows and lips and things. Uh, relax and enjoy for up to 20 minutes or until the mask is dry and your skin feels tightened and toned and then you gently peel it off and remove any remaining product with warm water. Uh, there are some precautions that are listed on there and then it tells you the, uh, the list of the ingredients. So uh, yeah, I like face masks so I'm going to enjoy using that one from Cabela. So that's the uh, the first package opened. And here's the second one. I think I know what this is before I open it. 
but I'll be able to tell you yes or no when I take it out of the packet. Yes, it is what I thought it was. Um, a couple of years ago now, uh, our local chemist was selling packets of foot peel masks uh, from a brand called Skin Republic. If I remember rightly, they're a Korean brand. And in places like Superdrug, these packets of masks sell for nearly 10 quid a packet the last time I checked. But at our local chemist, they were selling them for, I think, I think it was about £2 a packet, so I bought loads. Uh, some of them I sold to friends at cost price. Some of them I gave to other friends as presents. Uh, and the rest I used myself, and they were really, really good. Uh, I do uh, work, work on my feet a, a lot of the time. So they helped get rid of the hard skin that was building up on my feet. Uh, if I remember rightly, on Amazon Vine, this one was advertised as a foot mask for men. So I thought, yeah, right, not having that foot mask for men. That's a bit um, geared to what towards just men. Do they think that that men only have um, soft, have hard feet? No, I'm going to get it and try it for women as well. So we've got inside it these tear off and fix tabs that you use to fasten the booties on with. There's a, a Lumiline New Skin Foot Peeling Mask User Manual, which is, it looks like it's, it's quite detailed and it comes in a number of uh, different languages as well. So if it's someone from another country that's ordering this, hopefully they should be able to uh, read it in their own language. We've got English, uh, German, Italian, Estonian, French, and that's it. Uh, is it Estonian or is it Spanish, you know? Yep. My mistake, it's Spanish. I only did it for five years at school, but you know. Anyway, so that's the user manual. And that's what the pack of foot peeling mask looks like. They come as a little pair of booties that you take out of the packet. Um, and you fasten them on with those little peel off tabs that I showed you. Uh, like it says on the front, remove skin, dead skin cells without scrubbing. With this one, you only leave it on for 60 minutes. The one that I bought from, as I say, from our local pharmacy, you had to leave it on for about two, two and a half hours, I think it was, uh, probably to let it penetrate deep enough to have an effect. Anyway, I'm going to be using that one later on, so uh, hopefully it'll work. The thing that I found out with them as well is you have to make sure that you wash your feet every day uh, to keep up the skin softening dead cell removal process and, um, it, and then it helps break down all the hard skin and stuff that's on your feet and you have to make sure you don't peel the skin off. Um, I tried it and it hurts, especially if you accidentally pull a little bit too deeply. You don't want to make your feet bleed. It's not a good look. Anyway, onward. This is the third of the packages. This, it says on, uh, on the customs declaration label that it's a notebook and a ruler. So uh, let's have a look, shall we? I know I did, I have... Um, I did back a Kickstarter campaign, so I think it's probably going to be from that. You know, you you get loads of adverts for Kickstarters on uh, on YouTube uh, when they monetize people's videos. Uh, they're always worth a look. Sometimes there's some quite decent stuff there. I've I've had some um, some really nice stuff. And some some really good stuff that's come through from Kickstarters, and 
this is from one of them. So let's have a look. We've got the Horizon Ruler. And then there's the Kickstarter edition 48 page memo notebook that comes with it. Let's have a look what, uh, what they say. So we've got this little thank you letter that's come with it. It says, thank you. Without your support and encouragement, our success wouldn't have been possible. It's been a wonderful experience launching our campaign on Kickstarter. We received overwhelming support. We love the soul of crowdfunding, sharing and building together. Being a small business, feeling your support is priceless. We are so excited to build the second version of Horizon. We want to make it with our family, you. We all suffered from a lack of portability of rulers. That's why we created Horizon Ruler with you. Now, please let us know your thoughts about Horizon, good or bad. We want to hear that. We want to create better products with your help. We feel so lucky to have made this happen with you. We feel so lucky to be family with you, Horizon team. That's nice, isn't it? It's. Uh, I think that's the first time I've had um, an actual thank you letter come through on uh, something that I've backed on Kickstarter. So uh, it's actually nice to know that, you know, Horizon do appreciate their project backers. So, yeah, great stuff. Thank you, Horizon. OK, the last bit of this video, this month's box excitement consignment. Let's have a look, shall we? Oh, God. Now, I appreciate that they don't want the boxes to come open in the post, but sometimes this tape is a bit of a nightmare to get open I shouldn't grumble but when you just really want to see what's inside the box hoping this is going to be a Halloween themed one so here we go oh and the theme of this box is practically magic Remove this card to reveal your full list of goodies overleaf. There we go. Let's see if I can do it without knocking everything off my desk. In fact, let me put the keyboard out of the way. And I'll have a bit of space for the box. So, we are bringing some magic into your home with this month's goodies. Inside your box are the following gifts for you and your home. Where's my scissors? Let's cut through the box, through the seal on the tissue paper. Gorgeous Mystic Circle wooden pendant on a fine silver chain. That's not that, is it? Um, maybe it's that. It is. Let's see if I can get it open. This is pretty. And the chain is is very fine so if I do wear it I'm going to I'm going to need to be careful with that make sure I don't snag it on anything and snap it that's pretty I do like that a tube of organic bath salts with magical healing powers that will no that will not be that that's this and this little tag attached. Add this mix of Himalayan pink mineral salts and rose petals to a hot bath to create a relaxing home spa. The ionic salt 
solution helps draw out toxins, deep cleanses and hydrates the skin and relieves achy muscles. Soak for 30 minutes, no need to rinse. That's uh, magical soft, uh, magical salt bath with healing powers. What's that? It's nice, isn't it? Uh, a Halloween inspired greetings card with envelope. That's for this one. Hello, pumpkin. That's cute. And it's got a little pumpkin slice in the bottom corner there. A little card designed for box excitement. That's sweet. Uh, a set of magic crystal storage labels to separate your treats from your poisons. Ah, that's these. Magic crystal set of storage labels. And they come like that. Waterproof final labels with permanent adhesive. That's pretty good. I can use those for uh, labelling up kitchen jars. Two coasters to protect your surfaces from all those magic potions. Magic poster set. Let's have a look, shall we? Witch's brew and magic potion. Very cute. A useful planner pad and notepad set with matching wall prints. Knock stuff on the floor. So we've got a magic planner and a my spells planner. That's those. The raven represents rebirth, recovery and reflection and the moving of darkness into light. He symbolises the creation of a brave new world. In these troubling times, let's all try to embrace our inner raven. That's quite a good mantra to carry forward, isn't it, really? I like the idea behind that. Uh, three candles with gravel decoration to light up the darkness. That's these. And these are organic natural beeswax candles. Use the gravel provided to place your candles in a small glass. Make sure the candles on the glass are stable before lighting. Never leave lit candles unattended and keep away from children. And there's a, a little card inside. Pure beeswax candles with a natural honey scent. Natural lead free, free cotton wicks. Oh, natural lead free cotton wicks. Uh, dripless, no smoke and no mess. Made using the ancient techniques of dipping a cotton wick into melted beeswax. 55 minutes burn time. That's pretty good. And a little tip as well. If you keep candles in your fridge or freezer, they burn for a lot longer and a lot slower. So that's uh, that's this month's book excitement contents, as well as a couple of others added on there um, as extras. Hope you've enjoyed watching. Uh, if you have, you know, give us a like and drop us a comment down below. If you want to see more of my videos, uh, click on the subscribe button and the little bell icon to see all of them. Uh, if you haven't enjoyed it, you know, thumbs down is fine. It's it's up to you. It's your choice. But do let me know why you haven't enjoyed it. And then uh, that will enable me to, to improve on future videos all being well. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next video. Uh, look after yourselves. Look after each other. And take care out there. The weather's looking a little bit lousy today. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.